Hey folks, Mel the Train Tutor back in the studio and back with another video for you. And in this video we're back in the products playlist and we're doing a bit of a roundup on battle mats. Yes, lots of you have asked me for my various opinion on mats from different manufacturers, so I reached out to as many manufacturers as I could to basically get as many mats in as I could so we could do one big roundup and I could get it hit off in one video. And boy, did they respond. We've got mats from Cigar Box, Deep Cut Studio, Game Mat EU, Crack and War Games, Mats by Mars, Microart Studio, Playmats.eu, P Work War Games, and finally Urban Mats. So we've got a lot to look at, but before we get stuck in, a little bit of a history lesson and I want to show you my favourite mat. Now I told all the manufacturers this video isn't about showing whose mat is best, it's simply about showing off the various mats and the different advantages you get from using from different mats from different suppliers. But before we jump into that, yeah, I want to show you my favourite mat. And my favourite mat is this. This is a static grass cloth mat from Games Workshop. Now this is a bit old and it is discontinued now. And if anyone out there knows where you can get hold of them, please tell me, because I love these mats. Yeah, on a cloth background, but with your static finish, it's lovely. But this is not the first static grass mat that Games Workshop did. Before this, there was a six foot by four foot static grass on a, on a paper roll, a bit like wallpaper. And you could glue it down straight onto your wargaming table to give you a grass surface. I've got some underneath that shelf there. No, I didn't static grass my shelf. It was my old war game board games board I had to cut it up for terrain for the for shells for the studio okay but the six by four mat that game mat that games workshop brought out wasn't the first grass mat grass mat and it wasn't their their mat from games it wasn't their mat it was actually from Jarvis Scenics now Jarvis Scenics produce a wide range of these paper mats now these are two foot by four foot mats and they're not designed for gaming on they're designed for cutting bits out of and sticking down to your layouts now we'll look at that in a future video but I thought it'd be interesting just before we delve into all the different mats to have a look at you know where mats came from because what we have today isn't what we started off with when I was a younger lad and not so grey yeah we had paper mats with grass stuck to them <laughs> but this is my favourite mat apologies to all you manufacturers but I think you'll let me off for this one because anyone who's had one of these loves them but with that in mind it's time to have a look at the actual manufacturers so let's delve in first with Cigar Box So, Cigar Box Battle Mats, yeah, probably the most unique of all the mats I've been sent, okay? Run by two friends, based over stateside for US, US customers, yeah, and their mats are beautiful. They are printed on fleeces. Yeah, I did say that. It's a fleece, you know, lovely, warm, wrappy, warm jumper. You regularly see photos of these mats draped around people in cold gaming halls. And I never quite understood until I received it. And then once I've picked it up, gave it a feel, it feels lovely. Okay? And it is lovely and warm. I, I will have to admit, I have wrapped this round myself to keep myself warm in this studio when I came in earlier. Yeah, it's brilliant. Now, above all, yeah, they produce a whole range of mats of different sizes. They've got circular ones, 4x4s, four 6x4s. Four, four. Now, the 6x4s are larger than 6x4, so they easily drape over the table. So you don't need to worry about edges lifting up or anything like that. They simply drape over the table. And they have got this beautiful print on them okay and they, they do them in various scales various uh, colors various uh, environments from European desert they've got beaches they've got space they've got all sorts but it's all on this watch with this lovely fleece mat and their mats are dual sided so you get two mats for the price of one which has got to be a bonus Okay, now the other real major advantage of using a fleece for a mat is you can just crumple it all up and just throw it straight in your bag. Okay, no long tubes, no awkward sort of storage or moving around or fitting it places. It will go into a simple watch clip. It will go into a carry bag if needs be. And then when you, you're ready, you just throw it out and straighten it out. And you don't have any problem with any creases. So, cigar box battle mats smart idea. Highly recommend you check them out and check out some of these designs. Now 
Now Deep Cut Studios are well known for high quality battle mats, high quality prints and also a lot of customization. They are quite happy to put any grid, any hex system, any deployment zones on any of their mats or alternatively you can provide your own images and they'll print your, your images into a mat for you. On top of that Deep Cut do three different materials. They do a PVC material, they do a cloth material and then they do this mouse mat material which is what we've got here and it is a lovely high quality print. It lays smooth like most of the mouse mats, okay? Two, two three millimeter thick rubber on it, so it's non-slip, sharpened corners, yeah. The, what call it, the paint is impregnated on the print, yeah, so it shouldn't fade, it shouldn't scratch, and if you need to clean it, just a wipe with a, a wet cloth should do it absolutely fine. Now, the boys at Deep Cut Studios don't just do battle mats, yeah. You can get your own mouse mats printed there. They do a selection of terrain tiles, which are PVC, sorry, which are neoprene tiles, yeah, that you can cut out, and they've got rivers on that become modular rivers that you can just lay down on your board. So so they're really pushing the, the sort of the battle mat envelope if you know what I mean. Above all they have an absolute load of designs to choose from. Based over in Lithuania so easy to ship across yeah if you're in, in Europe but they do have a strong logistics yeah for shipping outside of Europe as well. So yeah these are the bat mats from Deep Cup. They're really nice. I do like them. I've only got one at the moment. Yeah I am going to pick up a few more I think. Yeah and have a look at these designs, see if you like them. Next off, we've got three mats sent in by the guys at GameMat.eu. Now they're based over in Prague in Czechoslovakia, so good for the EU guys once again. And they've sent in three mats for us. They do a wide range of mats, different sizes, as you would expect. They're all high quality prints like this one. Okay, this is their medieval town mat. Loads of detail, really sharp and crisp printing. Yeah, and as always with these neoprene mats, Lovely finish, lovely surface, lovely long lasting colour. Now if we take a look at this, this is their medieval town map. Yeah, if we scroll back, yeah, we get their, I think this is their imperial base map. Once again, high quality, good detail. You've seen a lot with all these mats that it, it's difficult to put to to pick one on quality because they are all really good quality and they are made out of the same neoprene material yeah which is non-slip heavy duty doesn't stretch doesn't crease yeah and that sort of applies across the board guys but yeah one thing i did want to show you is if you move away from their boom base you get this one now i'm not quite sure what this one is called but this one's rather fancy because this one is double-sided yes it's two mats for the price of one. So on one side we have sort of a Mars industrial feel. On the other side, it's looking rather clean and clinical, that is. Yeah, some sort of alpha base maybe? Not sure, but I really do like the idea of getting two mats in one. Mats on Mats are an expensive purchase in general, you know, when it comes to wargaming, that sort of stuff. So if you can maximize your mats for, for your money, it's a win-win. Now, like I said, they do have a lot of designs, yeah, and we'll take a look at those very quickly, but they are also expanding into resin terrain, so check out these pieces. And here are their matte designs. So our next couple of neoprene mats are from the guys from Kraken War Games, based over in Essen in Germany, so another one for you European guys, but disputes worldwide as usual guys. And they have sent in two beautiful mats. Okay, now, the key thing about Kraken is, and they've just come off a Kickstarter and they're very much hitting the ground rolling and getting rolling, yeah, is 
They don't digitally design their maps. Their maps are made of composite photos of their real terrain. Yes, this is a real terrain board, taken lots of different photos and then put together. And I'll be honest with you, when I unrolled the mats, I thought, oh damn, that's nice. Yeah, they do look really nice, and I think that's why. I wasn't 100% sure on it. I thought, hey, that, that sounds like a bit of a tall tale, until I saw some of the terrain they photographed to make the mats. And it's good. Yeah, now we've got two mats. We've got this blasted ruined city. I'm sorry, I don't know the name. Sorry, I do know it's Desert War Zone City 6x4. Okay? Lovely detail, lovely texture. I really do like this idea of using photographs. It certainly makes it pop. And it gets things into that you perhaps wouldn't have thought of getting into them. Yeah? I've been noticing like the shadows and where are the shadows falling and it works. Yeah, moving on, they've got their winter cityscape, which is a load of cobblestone roads and paths. And I can see this being great for Frostgrave and all that sort of stuff. Throw your foreground buildings on there. Yeah, and it'll look awesome. But yeah, I say throw foreground buildings on there. Kraken are one of these that they're not just doing battle mats, they're giving a go at the resin scatter terrain as well. Recently having a successful Kickstarter. Take a look at some of these pieces. And here are some of their designs for their mats. So next off we've got some vinyl mats from the guys over at Mats of Mars. Based over in St. Louis, so they're perfect for you stateside guys, but they do ship worldwide. And they produce a wide range of maps. Now, a lot of their maps are customizable for specific games. They do a lot of roleplay work. Now straight off, we've got one of their roleplay jungle mats here. It is a vinyl sheet, which means it's cheaper, it's lightweight, it's a lot easier to move around and store. It doesn't fade in the sun yeah now it does have a slight texture to the top surface and this is so it reduces the anti-glare so that you don't get a shine from any lights that are above you and it works quite well okay so i've got a basic jungle mat here with a one by one grid on it yeah one inch by one inch grid they do overlays on all their mats so if you want a specific overlay a grid a hex yeah just get in touch with them and they can put that on any of your mats that you want so they, they can customize them and here we've got the role play ones like i say they're doing a lot of role play work yeah we've got a generic football one here i recognize this pitch cheeky cheeky yeah, beautiful layout, everything you need on there with all the relevant pieces of information. Nice one, guys. I think this one will be coming home with me. I haven't managed to build my own pitch yet. Yeah, and then we've got this massive aerial one, which is perfect for your aerial games. Now, you may notice a little bit of a waver in it. This is my fault. Yeah, they were one of the first to arrive when I reached out and stupidly I put them at the bottom of the box and piled stuff on top of them. That being said, I have been in touch with them. They say it's just a matter of leave it out flat, put some coins on the corners or a book if it's creased anywhere, somewhere warm. And it'll set itself down and I've got no doubt on that because I've, I've seen this in the past. Now the other really good thing about the mats from Mats from Mars and these vinyl mats is their wet wipe and you can use dry markers on them. So in the case of your D&D ones, you can draw your jungle paths and you can draw your things on and your corridors and all that sort of stuff which I think is an awesome little addition to the battle mat side. If you haven't got terrain, laying out a jungle temple is a simple matter of throwing a sheet down and then drawing your temple interiors on it. It's as simple as that, add some scatter terrain on it. So I really like it. Now, as I said, they do a whole range of mats. So check out some of these designs.
So next up we've got some mats from Micro Art Studios over in Poland. Another one for you EU guys, but ship worlds wide like most of the companies do. Yeah, now this is a high quality, yeah, uh, desert mat. I did check on their website and I've been calling these neoprene mats, yeah, because that's what they look like and they remind me of mouse mat material. Yeah, they're actually saying that it's a high quality print on polyester with a rubber backing. Now, I don't know if that's neoprene, but you guys can correct me in the comments. But they are lovely mats. Detailed, high quality, low sheen, yeah, non-slip, rounded corners. I like that more than I should, okay? But the guys over at Micro Art Studio aren't just about battle mats, yeah? They're, they're really into their games. I mean, they've got their own game, Wolfsung. They produce laser cut terrain. They produce resin terrain, expanded foam terrain. And I've had quite a bit of it, and it's nice stuff. They do disc wheel stuff, and they also do a lot for Infinity. Now, they don't just produce a range of battle mats. They also produce these. Yeah, now these are for card games, and you lay them down in front of you to lay your cards on. Yeah, let's get to that. <laughs> that's what I think about that. Well, not what I think about that, but that's what I think about card games. <laughs> yeah, but on top of that, they've got this one of their latest projects. Now, this is a set of 16 one foot by one foot tiles, and what you can do with this is this is designed for infinity. So you get the one foot by one foot tiles and because they've got roads on and various things, you can lay them out and come up, yeah, once you've figured them out, with a road structure and a completely modular board. Yeah, so as I lay these down, we'll throw another one there. I'm just gonna lay four down right now to give you an idea, but there's 16 in a set. Now that's enough to do a four by four board. Yeah, completely modular. Completely any shape you want, any roads, any way you want, which is a really smart idea. It's taking the battle mats and then it's adding the modularity that we get from a system from like terra tiles or something like that. So, really smart idea. And what I really like about this is, it depends how big, we all need different sized battle mats, yeah, for different games. This system, one box, I can go from a one foot by one foot game, to a two foot by two foot game, to a three foot by three foot game, to a four foot by four foot game. If I really wanted to, I could go by a two foot by an eight foot table, yeah, for like a bit of a road running game, if you wanted to do that. Yeah, so check these out, very smart. And they've got a couple of sets. So here are the sets. And here are their general mat designs. Next off, we've got some mats from playmats.eu. Now these guys are based in Poland and they've been going a while and they are doing some amazing things. Some beautiful mats. Now first off, yeah, they've got the obligatory card game mat. Okay, neoprene as typical, but some rather nice stitching on the end. Yeah, and so I thought I'd show it off. You know where I think about card games, but if you're into them, nice stitching around the sides and they've got some nice designs. I'll show those at the end. But we're into the, into the battle mats, aren't we? That's what we're here for. Okay, and so straight off we've got this three by three. Yeah, uh, looks like, I don't know what this one is called to be truthful. Yeah, it's sort of a volcanic Marsy temple type thing, maybe? I'm stretching it there, folks. But it is that polyester on a rubber backing Neoprene, I'm calling it. Correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, guys. Yeah, once again, like all the other mats, lovely finish, high quality, low shine, wipeable, durable. Okay, so neoprene mats with loads of different designs like the other suppliers. But what I wanted to show you was something else. This is a little bit different. This is a latex map. Okay, mat. And it feels different. One side feels smooth, one side feels textured. It's almost like they've figured out how to print on the rubber of the other mats. Now, it's a lot thinner. It's only about a millimeter thick, which means it's a lot lighter. It still lays pretty flat. Yeah, I've got no problems. A little rising up just at the edge where it was rolled, but I know that'll unroll if I roll it the other way. But here's the thing. 
yeah? Not only is it high quality print this side, but because it's latex, it's also a high quality print this side, yeah? So we've got a lovely detail, yeah? Really sharp. Yeah, I don't know if this is a photograph or whether it's drawn. I reckon it could be a photograph to be perfectly honest, but it is beautiful, like I say. Lovely finish, cleanable. Now they do also do washable maps and that are supplied with dry white markers that you can draw on. I don't have any of those to show you, but they do those as well. But I think this is a lovely idea. You know I like the idea of duplicating mats. And if you can get it lightweight, duplicate, with all the benefits of the sort of neoprene mat, you're onto a winner, aren't you? So anyway, it's not just this they're good at. They've also come up with these. Yeah, well, I looked at this little box and I thought, hey, well, what's this? And I thought it was a product catalog to start off because there was this big horrible book in the front of it, but it's not a product catalog. What it is, is it's a load of foam back terrain. Now, if I bring these up to this camera, yeah, we've got rocks. Yeah, that you can just lay out on your terrain. We've got trees, woods, scrubland. And if you look at the other side, it's a foam backing. It's, it, this probably is neoprene to be truthful. <laughs> With all the ones I've been calling neoprene, this probably is neoprene. <laughs> but there you go, guys. Yeah, lovely little selection. And I've had a look through their website and they've got a load of different designs, including some awesome trenches. Check some of these scattered designs out. And then here are the designs of some of their mats. Next off, we've got some mats from P-Work War Games, and they're a relatively new company based over in Italy, but they're doing some great things. First off, they've got some awesome detailed mats, okay? And as you can see, yeah, you can see, I think this is their industrial wasteland mat. It is a neoprene rubber mat, yeah, high quality, much like all the same guys. The print's lovely, the detail's great. It's durable, it's wipeable. Yeah, just what you'd expect from a neoprene mat. But on top of that, yeah, they've sent in some others because they don't just do neoprene, yeah? They also do the vinyl mats. So the white ones that are wiped downable, yeah, they do these. And I've got to say, it's sitting lovely and flat. It is a beautiful, yeah, print. I'm almost tempted to say this could possibly be a photograph, but I don't think so. Well, could be. Could be a composite photograph. I'm not quite sure yet, but it is beautiful. And they also do them on cloth. Okay, but P-Work War Games are, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, they don't just do mats, okay? They do a, a range of tiles that are available as PDFs that you can print out as cardstock. They do their own laser cut terrain. They do their own, what you call it, printable cardstock terrain, which I think is awesome. Check out some of these designs. And then here are the designs for some of their mats. So last but not least, we've got a neoprene mat from the guys over at Urban Mats. Based over in Prague in Czechoslovakia, they're great for you EU customers, but obviously they ship worldwide. Now Urban Mats, they specialise in neoprene mats, just like this one here, which is their Badlands mat. Okay, obviously, once again, high quality imagery, uh, durable, lays flat, anti-shine, all the things we expect from a watch collect from a, a battle mat that's neoprene on top of that rounded corners which i really do like more than i should guys okay now this one in detail it's got a mixture of rocks and grassland and it's generally for i would say general scatter you know badland scatter and so it's a massive different games but they've got a wide range 
a, a battle mats that they do. But on top of the battle mats, they also do pre-painted resin terrain. Okay, so terrain, you can buy the battle mat and drop the terrain straight on it. Okay, and on top of the pre-painted terrain, they also do fold-away tables. Specifically, six foot by four foot fold-away tables, which is pretty awesome to be perfectly honest. Now, if you're interested in the resin or the tables, check out these images. And here are some of their designs for their bow mats. So folks, this wraps up this big battle mat roundup video. And like I said at the start, it's not about finding the best mat on the market. It's about showcasing the various mats from the manufacturers and their other products. So whether you're looking for heavy duty neoprene, double-sided neoprene, double-sided latex, lightweight drawable on vinyl, fleeces, terrain tiles or scatter pieces or a whole load of other products that you've seen in the vid yeah hopefully you've found or seen something in this video that suits your gaming needs now obviously if you've got any comments or any questions get those down in the comments videos on battle mats are nothing new to the channel we have been working on making our own battle mats yeah we've got a terrain lab video where we look at using acrylic corking and there's another one of those coming really soon and on top of that we've got our watch called big, big we We've got our big Burma battlefield mat that we made for my big Burma build. Now if you're interested in those you can check those out over there. Yeah if you're new to the channel you can subscribe down there and if you really like what I do yeah please consider supporting me on Patreon guys. It's a dollar a month that's all I ask but it keeps the lights on, the cameras rolling and me making these videos for you. So in the meantime check that out down there and I'll see you soon. All the best yeah? Ta-da!